Think of Cambridge, think art, think science, think history. But movie premieres, think again. Let's just the eyes left for me, please. Yet this is no ordinary film. This is no ordinary man. There's nothing like the eureka moment of discovering something that no one knew before. The subject is Professor Stephen Hawking, one of, if not the, most famous scientists of his generation. And this is his story, his words, his idea, his life. Full, uncensored reality TV. The life of a scientist through a microscope. I have lived over two-thirds of my life with the threat of death hanging over me. I think he felt that now was the time to do it in his own words and talk as candidly as he can and as revealingly as he can about what has affected him and what's kind of made him who he is really so he was he was he was he was very accepting of it Stephen Hawking is adored loved even not just here at the University of Cambridge but in many parts of the world and of course it's his research and his theories that have made him a household name but for many people who are not academic it's also the fact that he has achieved so much whilst also suffering so much and that means that he is no longer just a scientist by his own admission he's now also a celebrity this is after all a man who took center stage during the opening of the 2012 paralympics welcome professor stephen hawking he's been on chat shows the simpsons even star trek for a man obsessed with space honors do not get much bigger you are bluffing wrong again albert I think my celebrity has a lot to do with my condition. The wheelchair makes me instantly recognizable. I fit a stereotype of a disabled genius, though I'm not a genius like Einstein. When Stephen Hawking was diagnosed with motor neurone disease, he was given just three years to live. That was 50 years ago. His book, A Brief History of Time, became one of science's best ever sellers. His movie itself is brief, just 90 minutes, but gives the world a glimpse into his history, his time. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, Cambridge.